Hi, I'm Tristan Clark. I'm an agronomist with Elder Shelves Rural, based in Dalwollany in the northern wheat belt of Western Australia. So we had an opportunity here to be involved with a 100 hectare paddock scaled Matino Complete on a property in West Bathara. It varies from a sandy duplex into a sandy gravel that then uh, kind of travels into a loamy soil at the other end of the paddock. So we have a good variability. We had it up against two other premium mixes of pre-M herbicides, growing on a farmer scale IBS treatment use pattern. Primarily the main uh, weed problem in this paddock is ryegrass, following two uh, ripping um, treatments in 2016 and 18, there was a large disturbance which resulted in a flush of ryegrass and radish in the paddock, sown to septa wheat at 95 kilos. The matino was applied here at 1 litre per hectare in 100 litres total volume, so that was 50 litres of water and 50 litres of Flexien. We also had in the brew uh, Gramoxone and Chlorpyrifos at the time, so yeah, mixed quite well with all three of them, no dramas at all um, and easy to use. The mixing order is very important into ensuring that you get you know, good mixing and compatibility. So ensuring that we took plenty of time and adding the SCs early in the mixing was important to making sure that it was all compatible. Tenno Complete was sprayed here using a Beverly Hydro Boom with an airmatic system, which is air induction, and it had a medium to coarse droplet spectrum. So this paddock was seeded with um, rain falling in the last couple of hectares, so it actually was into a full pro profile of moisture, 45 mils in the following month after seeding, and then 120 mils in the month following that. So there was plenty of moisture around, but there was no observable crop effect. So Matino Complete formed on par the other premium pre-emergent chemical brews that were used here, but notably the broadleaf control of Matino Complete was quite, quite outstanding early on in the season. After seeing Matino Complete in many trial sites across the state, I guess the main key takeaway that I've taken is that EPA applications are much more robust in their control of both broadleafs and grasses. Being a whole new mode of action is obviously a unique benefit to any chemistry that's brought to the market, but also being a mix of complementary modes of action is really beneficial to Matino Complete in allowing growers to attack and you know, try to hold off resistance issues that they might be facing in the paddock. Select paddocks is probably where we're looking to target that in an APE use pattern. Knowing that you're gonna get back to those paddocks in the right timing is key to getting the most out of the product, but also trying to pick the paddocks where you think that the best value will be. Thank you.